Hey, here's your Lake Scugog ice update for Saturday, January 27th. And uh, what we're looking at here is a natural hole. And obviously there's a crack that runs along here. And you can see like some scum and stuff that is obviously like there's water flowing into the hole. And that's what causes the hole itself. So there probably would have been a wider spot in the crack and surface water needs to drain down below the ice somehow. Ice is lighter than water, so it's always trying to rise above the water, so water finds the easiest spot to go below the ice most of the time, if there's not a lot of snow on the ice. So the result is, is as water is passing through the ice, it erodes holes larger and larger and larger. Often these will be at a spot where there's a couple of cracks, or even worse, where people have drilled holes for ice fishing, those holes can get very, very large. So this hole here, it's, uh, I'm going to say it's probably about 18 to 20 inches uh, across this way and probably about 30 inches this way. And you could definitely fit a, like a person through there. And that was naturally made. So that started from a crack that was probably like, you know, a centimeter wide. And um, it's gotten that big that quick. So one of the dangers here is literally holes like this opening up in spots that you wouldn't expect or holes like this freezing over when it gets cold again and you would expect it to be thicker than it actually is and you go through and so actually if we in this part of the lake where i'm standing right now it's on the eastern side of lake scugog if we go out further we can actually find spots we're not going to find spots right now <clears throat> but what they kind of look like oh look at this here there's actually so much water flowing i don't know if you can see this it actually there's riffles on the water right there and bubbles flowing past there's like a lot of water flow here right now and it's uh it's really slick <laughs> hang on so you see these white patches out here um i'm not gonna say that these are what i'm talking about but <clears throat> during um well, when it's actually hard water um quite quite slushy about an inch of slush right now um, but where these white patches are you'll often find gas bubbles that will come up and they'll erode the ice somehow or prevent ice from building up so you've got gas in lake scugog that makes weak spots in the ice and you'll actually like if you drill a hole you'll hear them bubble out actually if you take your spud and you hit one of these you'll hear them they'll sort of like puff out and i understand you can actually light that on fire if you've got a lighter with you <clears throat> give it a try but be safe um so yeah and there's springs around here too so definitely play it safe it's pretty wet i honestly i wouldn't i'm not going out today uh we just came to check on our ice rink and it's uh that's flooded well, that's a good thing i guess and our next cool down looks to be next thursday so pretty much a week away so keep your stick on the ice and if the women don't find you handsome they should at least find you handy Red, green. Have a great day.